dear students in the last class uh, we completed 7.1 from factorization chapter and the remaining part of the factorization chapter uh, we will learn after our sa1 exam so geometry part uh, is very important that's why today we are going to start a new chapter from geometry that is understanding quadrilaterals okay mm. understanding quadrilaterals so all of you i think all of you know what, what is quadrilateral okay quadrilateral means all of you know you studied in class five also class six also class seven also again i am going to say that Quadrilateral means four-sided polygon, okay? Four-sided polygons are called quadrilateral. All of you know, uh, <coughs> example, square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, okay? So, these are the examples of quadrilaterals. So, today we are going to learn this chapter okay first you see here polygons polygons also you know you studied earlier polygons a simple closed graph made up of only line segments is called polygons okay that means closed curve closed figure okay closed figure bounded by line segments are called polygon all of you know we discussed earlier actually classification of polygons you know three-sided polygon it's called triangle four-sided quadrilateral five-sided pentagon six-sided hexagon like that heptagon octagon nonagon okay ten-sided polygons are called decagon suppose eleven-sided polygon so are called eleven gone okay hundred sided polygon are called hundred gun like this okay so next diagonals of a polygon diagonals a diagonal is a line segment connecting two non-conjugative vertices okay diagonals you know if you connect two non-conjugative vertex hmm, in a polygon then you will get diagonal okay so here you see in this figure sq one diagonal and pr one diagonal okay so so your uh, one question you will get uh, in the chapter that how many diagonals can be drawn in the figure like this okay so how many diagonals can be drawn uh, in a pentagon, in a hexagon, in a heptagon, like this, this type of questions you will get. So for this purpose, uh, you write one formula, okay, with the help of this formula, you can easily find out the number of diagonals in a polygon. So what is the formula? You just note down this formula, okay. You will write like this number of diagonals number of number of diagonals equal n into n minus 3 by 2 this is the formula with this uh, with the help of this formula you can easily find out the number of diagonals in a polygon okay here n means number of sides okay suppose i'm giving one example suppose this is four-sided polygon okay it may be squares it may be rectangle no problem it is four-sided polygon so how many diagonals you can uh, you can draw so here number of sides is four that's why your formula is n into n minus three by two n means four four into four minus three by two okay you will get one as uh, two okay your answer is two you can draw two diagonals okay 
like this clear so you uh, you use this formula with the, uh, with the help of this formula you can easily find out the number of diagonals in a polygon so wait for another video in the next video we will discuss the remaining part